this city was a okay i i don't even know at this point what in the fuck is actually happening right now because i think two days ago i said that tiktok cannot be banned by any means you know since it's this massive company that makes all of this marketing and will get defended at all, all costs now I am going to still leave in the defend it at all costs part, but I guess at the point where I said that it's impossible for it to get banned since it's so massive at this point, it's just crazy how in two days that statement in itself is completely obscure. Now, do I think it most likely will happen? No, not really. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure at this point. I don't think they can really do anything to completely ban it. But then again, this is the US government we're talking about. And I think even Tr President Trump noticed this, and I don't know why Trump would notice this, but I guess I kind of understand how he's against, like, you know, these massive corporations censoring and spying on people or, or something like that. And, and I'm kind of against that as well. But then again, at the end of the day, I'm not for this, really. I'm not against it either. I, well, actually, fuck it. I'm for it. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see TikTok get wiped off the face of the earth. But then again... If they ban TikTok, then where are all those idiots going to migrate to? And that's probably right. You're guessing it. Probably YouTube. And I don't think we want a bunch of TikTokers, especially angry ones on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Because you see, guys, at this point, TikTok is like a mix of Vine meets Twitter. It, it, it's cancer. That, that's what it, that's what I mean by it. Vine is good, I guess, sort of. I don't know, I never really liked Vine that much. But Twitter is cancer. And together that makes, well, cancer. It's like the dominant gene. Now, that took me a while to, like, convince you. So I'm just gonna tell you guys that I'm completely being satirical, alright? Do I want TikTok completely banned for millions and millions of users on a platform who have a career off of it. <sighs> Surprisingly, no, I don't. Because like, you know, even though if I say, you know, TikTok is cringe and shit, and that TikTok steals personal data from people, including minors. And also guys, <gasps> Shocker. They're learning about what you're doing and what things you like on social media and they are tracking your every whim. You know, the same thing that Facebook does, you know, that I, I went over two days ago. I honestly think this is really stupid, honestly, that they're gonna completely wipe TikTok from the face of the US, what the fuck? Because, you know, I watched somebody with a big brain named Some Ordinary Gamers, and he's totally, he totally makes a lot of sense. The government doesn't give a literal fucking shit about you. Can, can we just get that out of the way? Alright, don't say that's racist. Don't say that I'm politically pandering. Don't say any of that shit, because it, it's real. You know, it's real. This is logics. You know, this this is this is just pure logical thinking at this point. You know, it, when you saw Huawei getting kicked out, it wasn't because Huawei was necessarily spying on US citizens. It could have, but I believe it was never 100% proven that it did. It was literally getting banned behind the scenes for geopolitical reasons, because the US couldn't stand seeing a Chinese smartphone manufacturer demolish US smartphone manufacturers. It had to basically cut them off in one of the shadiest ways possible to stifle the success of a Chinese tech firm. The government does not give a fucking shit about you, and that that's kind of the real point here. They're kind of just competitioning with China and want to stifle China from making an app that tracks people's data and breaches miners' data so they could, surprise, surprise, make an app themselves from the US and make profit off of something that steals data from people and also tracks data from miners as well. I mean, at this point, like, it's just such normalized practice that I really don't need to go over much. You know, everything I said two days ago um, on the, the TikTok video and who cares, you know? So there's not really much more to say. All I can say is don't put emotion over the government and prioritize it over their marketing practices. Because at the end of the day, the government are really just here to regulate things and also at the same time make a ton of money. Empathy is kind of out of the, the situation right there, you know? This is already just obvious competition with China and um, India banning the app also has something to do with affiliated competitive practices. But then at the end of the day, I 
completely know how China can fix all of this. They can just go up and say, well, well, Trump, you know, and the government are kind of being discriminatory and racist against us. So if you're, you know, for TikTok getting banned or you don't like TikTok, you're automatically a racist who hates Chinese people. And coming from a half Asian person, I can tell you that is the biggest BS I have ever fucking heard in my entire life. And I can't believe people are following up on it. But then again, people are fucking stupid. So, um, uh, well, I mean, in other words, water is fucking wet. People, uh, wait, a lot of people are fucking stupid. But then again, every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute pass. You see, you, you know, you get, get what I'm saying here? Yeah, 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 exactly. Africa has the same amount of time that we do. Who would have fucking thought? Honestly, I, I mean, I should make a totally separate video on this shit. All right, whatever. Jokes aside, uh, this is Gang X Star signing out, homies. That was fucking cringe. God damn it.